Hey, happy Friday, everyone. Today is April 26th, and in this video, we're going to show you how to find and research positive EV plays using Outlier. Uh, this is a continuation of the series that we did. Yeah, you know, I've probably been paused for about two months on this, so I wanted to pick it back up, um, especially with MLB starting. So, um, if you've been around the series for a while, if you're just coming in, we track all of our picks using Picket. Uh, we find all the bets using Outlier. We get to show off some features while we're doing it, and then we hopefully become more profitable. Um, we're using a real bankroll of five hundred dollars. Um, we've got this. I'll show you how this handy dandy little calculator works as we get into it. So let's take a quick look at our picket from yesterday or from this week. So as you can see here on my screen, let me back out a little bit. So We've got a few different tags that we use. We use our main EV tag for game and team game lines and team props. Um, as you can see, we're up about uh, two units yesterday. Uh, you can see our ROI of the week, and then you kind of see how we were doing earlier in the year when we were more focused. This was probably February and March at this point. Uh, we track player props separately because we devig them a little bit differently. You can see we went up a little bit yesterday. We're still up on the week and all time since the beginning of this year. You can see our total record over here. Um, so we're still ROI positive on all of this. And then something new to the series, we actually are gonna test devigging by different books and different methods. So I wanna keep a separate tag for that. Um, Bet online we're using specifically for MLB game lines. And you can see, I mean, there's only two days worth of data that we're using it, but we're up quite a bit. So let's hop into it. And so as you can see here, we're using Outlier Pro. Let me try to remove this thing. I don't know how to move it. We're gonna have to deal with it. Um, make this a little bit smaller. So let's refresh this. So we go through this a couple different ways each time. So I prefer to go through it for game lines and team props separately versus player props. And I'll show you how and why. So. Let's do game props first. And like I said, we want to test specifically devigging with bet online for MLB game lines. Um, you know, we default to Pinnacle, and you could choose any number of these to devig against, but um, I have it in my mind that bet online is sharp on game and team props. So, devig method, we'll leave it as the default multiplicative method. Um, we could go into power and additive if we are looking for underdogs or like. In other words, ones that are very much plus money. Um, it kind of evens out the uh, the DVIG calculation a little bit, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Kelly multiplier um, for game and team props, we're going to leave it at a quarter Kelly and player props, we do one eighth Kelly. Our minimum EV that we look at, we look for plays that are 3% or more. Uh, we don't touch the Kelly percent because we're going to sort by it. Same but for VIG and no VIG odds. Bet types, we do want to look at game and team props solely. And leagues, we want to look at MLB. So it doesn't look like there's any volume for Bet Online right now for MLB. There's one that's like 0.2% EV. So. We're not going to put anything down right now. We want to keep to the strategy. So let's go back to Pinnacle. And we were going to go back to 3% EV. We're going to still look at game lines and team props. And then let's look at basketball. And we'll just look at all the sports combined. And we just won't tag any baseball ones. So... I generally sort by Kelly because it's just a good balance of getting EV combined with like the, the no big odds that you're looking for. Um, so here you can see there's quite a few MLB ones that are very big underdogs or long shots that we actually would probably want to change the DVIG method for. Um, so let me go back into this. It's actually not a ton of volume that I want to look at today. So let's add this NBA one, and let's take this one, 
basically anything up to like plus 190, we can leave as multiplicative. Um, but otherwise, if you're in like the plus 300, 400s, you want to take a, a fair look at the dvig. So those are added. And then we want to go with power, apply, and then let's take a look to see if there's any other ones on FanDuel here that have a decent EV. Here's 3%. We like this one. So we got three bets down. And I like to just do them in groups, as you can see here. So let's add these to our slip. It's going to make me log in because it's the first time I'm doing it today. Log in, New Jersey. Okay, so we want to look at these as straight bets. And we're going to look at the Kelly criterion here. So it's recommending we do 0.83% of our bankroll. So here's our little handy dandy math thing. I've got it already done. So our test bankroll is $500. So we can wrap, everything we're going to do is round numbers. There's no reason to put exact numbers, decimal points, or pennies or cents into the sports books. So this 0.83 is going to be $4. And that was on the Dodgers game. That's $4. And then. The Suns is 1.35%, so we're going to call that, I don't know, $7. It's between these two. $7. And as we're doing this, we want to make sure that the lines didn't move. So we're still getting the same ones as on the book. And I need to go back and find that Dallas Stars one. So this one's point, saying 0.57 down here. So... We'll call that $3. Three. Place those bets. All right, so now what we want to do, so we're not going to go d double these up later on, we're going to go hide all of these that we took. Hide bet and hide bets. OK. Then we can clear our bet slip. And then let's just make sure that we're not leaving any on the table from a different sports book. I didn't see any. This one we probably want to take. So it's first inning tie. Minus 120. So let's take this at DraftKings. And what's the recommended, Kelly? 0.95. So we're going to go look up here. It's pretty close to five dollars, so we'll just put five bucks on it. Five login place bets. Dollars of first inning tie. Okay, we'll place this $5 bet. Okay, here we go. So these are interesting, actually. I want to take a side note, and someone smarter than me, I feel like a first inning tie bet is actually like a good variable or replacement for a near fee because it's like, you know, likely you're looking at 0-0, zero, zero, but, you know, if one team scores, there's still an opportunity for the other team to catch up. So, um it's actually just interesting to, to look at, but I don't want to get too sidetracked. All right, so we're at about 10 minutes into this video, so I want to hit over to player props. Let me um, just hide this bet so I don't take it later. So I normally take a, a handful of these in the morning and then come back later in the afternoon once we're closer to the game starting. So let me, so before we do player props, let me just make sure nothing's showed up for our bet online example. Bet online. Doesn't look like it. We have anything that's showed up here for MLB. So let's switch over to player props. So I divig to, to FanDuel. 
for player props, especially for NBA. Um, it's just what we've seen all season long. Um, something can be said for for DraftKings as well. If you're looking at like specific markets, um, there's definitely some people in the Discord and Reddit who go very deep on the research that could say that you know FanDuel is sharper on points and DraftKings sharper on rebounds, things like that. We're not terribly concerned with that right now, though. Um, so Kelly multiplier, we're going to do one eighth Kelly when doing player props, just because there's a ton more variance and we want to protect ourselves against that. So we're going to switch our filter to just look at player props. And they only want to look at NBA right now. That's cool. Wait a minute. We're getting WNBA a little early. We got to look into that. That's exciting though. Um, okay. So again, we're going to sort by Kelly. There's a ton of bets here. So let's go down into them. Let's do the DraftKings ones first. We'll make sure none of them are like crazy high odds before taking them. So then we'll go through and start adding them. So this plus 210. I'd probably want to switch up the DVIG on it. So let's skip that. Same with the 215. Just to make sure it's still considered EV when we adjust for the, the under, underdog or long shot odds. Plus 120 is cool though. Plus 100. That's MGM. I don't want to take that right now. Let's take this Halliburton one. So you can see all of these are like still considered 5 6% EV. So we're getting a ton of bets down here. It's 300 plus 105 plus 130. All right. So 11 picks. Let's just make it an even 12. Because what happens now is that these lines can move and then it gets more and more confusing. So I'm going to add all these to my DraftKings bet slip. And we're going to have to go back and do the quick bankroll, check on all of them, and then hide all the bets and all that fun stuff as well. So let's go and we have start at the top. Normally for DraftKings, we do port them over in order. So we just want to make sure that we're looking at stuff right. So that 0.66 is $3. So we're looking at Pascal and Obi. Goes to 0.48, still about three dollars. Oh, that was supposed to be a three, three. TJ McConnell, do a quick check here. Still pretty much three. Uh, we're not really in order here. Okay, well I don't want to mess it up. Max Struess, 0.61. Let's, we'll call that three as well. Tyrese Halliburton. This one's close to that 0. 0.7, so we'll call it four. And you can see, you know, the as you're going through this, you can see the ones that are more plus money. You're accounting for a lower Kelly on it. It's doing that math for you. Jalen Brown. Where is Jalen Brown? 0. 0.38. These are getting pretty low. 0.38, we'll call that $2. Jalen Williams, that one was like 0.6 something, right? Yeah, we'll call that three bucks as well. Austin Reeves, oops. This will be three, we'll call these two because they're pretty low. Two. Tyler Hero, Kyrie Irving. Now this one's up there, so we'll call it four. Is that all the bets? We make sure that nothing's moved. Yeah, there's all 11 bets for 32. But we'll place them all. So now I get to go back. Hide. 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 Okay, so I'll switch the DVIG to power and see if any of these are still really good EV. 
So, and that's so far out of the money here. 0.33. I like this Bobby Portis one. So here, again, let's just do the ones that are showing a high Kelly and a reasonable EV percentage. Okay, let's just do those five, six rather. Let me clear all my bets and do that again. I'll add these to the bet slip and let's see, it's, so here's that 1.4. So when we go back here, it's about $7. And you can see why it's, you should definitely clear that. Bobby Portis, that's five. And Luca is also five. Tyrese Halliburton rebounds. This will be four and four and four. We'll just do fours across the board. Okay. Those are all in. Make sure to go remove these so I don't take them again later. Hide, hide. So what's cool here is you can go show all the hidden bets as well. If you want to go through them or evaluate them later on, you can do that. Um, and let's take a look at some MLB. I know this video is getting long, but... Let's see, so switch it to multiplicative. It's not a lot of MLB here. All right, well, let's take both of these. Why not? Clear all those old ones out. Open in DK, and this is say, and this is like low, 0.43 is two. What if we change it to power? And it's all the same. I'll just put them in there down as two and then let's see we'll take that height bet and then strikeouts under two and a half and a log into that mgm it's actually not saying this is ev plus 120 That's weird. Where are these odds? Plus 130. So if we can get them at plus 130. Let's make sure that they're actually still there. No. So they've moved down to plus 110. So they're no longer EV. That's why the flag didn't show here. There's just some sinking and catch up. Um, so yeah, that's how we, how we research our EV bets and what picks to place. I will tag all of these up in in picket and see what we come back with yeah still no mlb that's annoying so i'm going to come back later but um yeah i'm glad to be doing the series again i'll try to do it a couple times a week um today's friday likely won't be able to shoot a video on the weekends but uh, we'll come back monday or tuesday report on how we're doing adjust the strategy and take it from there thanks for being here have a good weekend